I mean, is she finally done? Yeah, come on, she, I mean, it's like, come on, it's Nana. Nana's not done, you know, she got plot armor, the god is plot armor protection. Oh, yeah. I'm just waiting for her to be like, haha, I knew it all along. <laughs> it's like, oh, come on, um, what's gonna happen? How is Nana gonna escape this time? I mean, I watched the anime right because I wanna see how Nana's gonna escape from the stupidity of mankind. Kind of like, yeah, it's like, it's gonna be silly. I think one thing though that I immediately think about is that while Cordia is acting like, I watched you the whole day, I've been looking at you the whole day, right? The phone is on you. He really hasn't, so that's just stupid to claim that because he clearly drank the poison, right? And he was like, oh no, it's birds and all that stuff. She could clearly put the phone in his pocket during that time or something else, right? Or, you know, dispose of the phone. When he was working on the window, she could dispose the phone. So it's been several times she actually could have, you know, get rid of the phone, right? She also a timer and so on. But even if she hadn't, she could get rid of the phone. So it doesn't make any sense for him to claim that he, he, he knows that the phone is on her because he doesn't know that. He assumes that, uh, but he acting like he knows right. So again, he's not a very good detective. Um, and actually, uh, I think that's too easy, right? when, she, when he drank the poison, probably when she got rid of it. The problem with this writing, though, is that why is Nana so uh, afraid, right? Because if she has the phone on her, <laughs> sorry, if she doesn't have the phone on her, and she, of course, knows that she, you know, got rid of the phone, uh, why is she acting so afraid, right? I don't mean in front of her, him, and the other one. He's like, ah, hey, you're perfect. Yeah, that makes sense from her, right? Just acting like, why you want, why you want with me for man? That makes sense. What I'm saying is that we are seeing her inner monologue, right? And if she actually disposed the phone earlier, her inner monologue doesn't make any sense. That's a problem with anime where the, the like the main character, we see her inner monologue, but her inner monologue doesn't actually fit what she's done. It's, it's, it's done like a twist to be like, haha, I actually did not have the phone on me. But then why were you afraid in the monologue wise? Because last episode. She was thinking like I have to stay calm because I know how you know what's gonna happen, right? And then she wasn't calm, and that doesn't make that doesn't make any sense. And I, it's no matter how you put it, that's why this mind battle anime is so like let's pretend we're IQ two hundred, but we're actually IQ two. It's like it's actually you know yeah five big head thing. It's like no, this is actually quite non intelligent, right? Because she's acting like it's an amazing thing, and then she has all these emotions, but she shouldn't have these emotions. I mean, she's wanting to fake her emotions, but that's we are seeing her inner monologue. If she actually does, if she actually has a better plan here, why is she so scared for you know internally, right? This doesn't make any. This doesn't, this doesn't make any sense. If that's the case, I'm just saying it here then and see what happens. But that is very weak writing, right? If that's the case, kind of similar to the necromancer. It's like why was she acting like this? If she's a mass murderer, psychopathic genre, why she suddenly just giving up? Like it's like it's one character here in the flashback, another character here, like two completely different versions. Also to make any guy really bad writing. <laughs> premise that's also the anime. The premise is good. Necromancer yonder thing is a good premise, bad executed. <laughs> like not very good execution. But anyway, let's start watching it. I put a little bit downer here. Yeah, very negative. No, but I say I just feel like last episode, I have to say it again, right? It's acts and people love to compare this anime to Death Note, right? Because premise wise, or like I guess thematically better. It is similar, right? They have this mind battle, right? But the thing is that if you're something like one of my favorite animes of all time, One Out, okay, I love One Out. If you like this anime and actually want to have good mind battle, One Out ever, okay? Baseball anime. Much better, okay? That's like 10 out of 10 freaking masterpiece anime. Would it really have, like, so draw a low pop, I see that, and it has this. Would it actually have really good intelligent strategies? It's like, well, if I do this thing, I can trick to him, and I can lie to him, this thing. Oh, I actually didn't lie. I, will, I, I gave the best point, the best thing is in one. Point in one out, he tells his opponent that he's like seen his uh, trick, right? Like he's seen his uh, oh, you do this thing, that's why I exposed you because of this thing. But he's actually did this, but he just lies to him, like oh, I saw your weakness, this is the weakness. And then the guy's like, oh, if I do that, he can see my weakness, I have to stop doing that. So then the guy is overthinking it. He said it to me, oh, oh shit, and he's like, <laughs> I gave him my weakness by telling him that I spotted his weakness. He's like, what, you're so evil? He's like, yes, I am evil. <laughs> That's basically one, but this is a good scene. I want to spoil it, but this is a good scene. He basically ruins the other guy's career by telling him that he can spot his weakness. It's such a good scene. But anyway, you know, one ounce, Akagi, Kadji, and so on, right? Their mind battles is are really, really good. Those psychological animes and live games and so on. Really good mind battles, right? And of course, Death Note is the classic one. Death Note, in my opinion, is not as good as like one ounce and Kadji and so on. It really isn't. I think it's a little bit closer to anime. So, 
I recommend again those gambling animes much much more right than Death Note. But Death Note is still a good anime. The problem here, and I said again for watching right, is that in Death Note, for example, then the IQ bass right is much more intense, and it, and it makes sense. It's like how oh, can he spot my weakness? How can he know right and so on? But he, in Nana, it just feels so silly because she keeps doing these very very obvious mistakes. Very, very incompetent mistakes, like, for example, the whole fighting in Necromancer, killing the guy, the guy, killing the guy immediately, he spots her, not thinking about how to dispose of it in a good way and so on. She's way too rash, way too emotional, right, way too uh, aggressive, right. N Nana is way too impulsive, it's a big issue for her, she's way too impulsive, it's a very bad psychopathic murder, because she's just way too, gonna, gonna kill them all, right, yeah, she's way too into catching everyone dead immediately. And the problem with that is that, then when she is doing this whole, Wow, he spotted my lie and so on, and she's being like amazed by him doing the IQ battle. Like I said last week, I just laugh at that, honestly, because when I watch something at one out, I'm like, whoa, that is a good mind battle. I'm like, shit, this legit good mind battle. I'm like, I'm very impressed. And, and then the, 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 the main guy is like, wow, he spotted through that. Then you actually feel related that that is actually a very good, it's an impressive thing that the guy could see through his lies or whatever, right? But when Koya sees through Nana's lies, it's like, yeah, who wouldn't? That's not a like mind bet. Nana is doing the most dumbest lies ever, and everyone else is dumb as a rock, except Koya, which is dumb as like a pebble, I guess. He's like somewhat smarter, but still not very intelligent. It's like, yeah, he spotted your obvious lie. I am not impressed by that. I mean, it's like, yeah, he's not a complete moron. He's just kind of stupid. That's how people accept what I mean, right? But again, the anime is so weird in that sense because it really isn't Death Note or whatever, because their mind bet are so low level mind battle right it is like and then her being like Wah! all the time it's like you know it's just kind of silly right it shows her how she's not very intelligent <sighs> anyway let's start watching it long intro but i was like man there's so much you can say about kind of anime right? so much you can say about nana as an anime how i think every week what we do see is that the premise is good and then the actual execution of the battles and so on are really poor anyway let's start watching it so three two one and go but I think it's a big issue, right? But I mean, I just think it's fun, funny. It's like, it's like a really low level mind. And then it's mind battle of like, it's like the stupid mind battle. It's mind battle of idiots. And it's like, my god, he gets put through my most obvious lie ever. It's like, well, yeah, you, you're not like good liar now. So, but she does have the phone on her? Probably not. She's like, you fool. Of course, I exposed it. What is the opening? I don't know. Yeah, it was weird. Maybe she had a opening. Probably isn't because she has several opportunities, and this cat is so stupid, it's so dumb. How she's actually there? Oh, this is so stupid! <laughs> it's so stupid because there's no phone on her. Can okay, she manage to? I don't know. Put... Yeah. So what was she there for the match earlier? Her mind thing doesn't make any sense. So this is gonna be like, ha! I never had on me. What a surprise! But but. Yeah, <laughs> like I was like, <laughs> throws it like away there. <laughs> yes, so she. Let's see how she deposited. Maybe we're in a poison thing. I think the poison thing is the most easiest way to do it. But she had several opportunities. She also could have used used a timer. But this is what I meant earlier before we watched the episode. This doesn't make any sense from her actions, and not not the plan itself. But why was she so mentally afraid of being exposed? Because she actually had it not on her. So her behaving, she's afraid is one thing, but she was we are listening to her in the monologue, and that was also afraid. That's just a stupid way to twist. That doesn't make any sense. It's good to how she also is evil every time. <laughs> yeah, she does. She's like, oh, it's black and red. But how did she do it then? Poison thing? Let's see if I'm right. For poison thing. No, you also did the damn poison man. At least he's lying. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. God, he's too stupid. The 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 the, 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 the poison thing, the, the the window thing. He had several opportunities. Well, she had several opportunities. There were several times, man. There was like four or five opportunities. Or also use some kind of stupid thing that a zombie would fall out of something from sunlight, what? Huh? 
How would she know that? That is that, that, that's, that, that is so contrived. Oh, she's like, well, the zombie's probably gonna melt by the sun. How would she know that the time frame? How would she, but how would she know the time frame of this thing? Oh my god, this is so stupid. She just rid of it when she was. But they went for the dumbest strategy. No, she's like, well, the zombie's finger is clearly melt by sunlight. Why would he even do that? Why would the sunlight even melt the body? <laughs> oh my god, it went for the dumbest way to do it. She could just get rid of it when he was poisoned. She didn't have to like... Oh my god. And why was... But this is the thing is that why was she so mentally afraid then? That's what I mean, right? It doesn't make any sense. From the writer's side, her actions last episode is important. Like, it is so bad. It is so horribly written because her mental behavior, because we listen to her in the monologue, She's like, oh no, I'm screwed. Like, why would she think that when she knows that the phone isn't on her right? Right? That, that's what I said before I was watching it. It is horribly written. It really is. Again, it's one thing that she would act afraid in front of him, right? Like, why touching me, man? You're poor like that? Absolutely, make that makes sense. But we, as the viewer, listen to her in your modern look. And her in your modern is like, oh no, I'm screwed. That's bad writing because it just set up some moment. That the, 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 the actual... Why would she think that? Right? So that's just a stupid way to make a twist happen. That's like, oh my gosh, she actually wasn't in trouble. But why would she believe she was in trouble? It's just, it's just so stupid. Horrible writing. Horrible writing. It's piss poor writing, really. It's, it's a way to uh, try to make a fake out. And also it's a problem because as we know that she's never in trouble. And she always escapes everything. It's also not a twist that she would not have the phone on her because it's what you expected, right? Who actually expected her to have the phone on her? I actually expected, I absolutely right, expected her to have the phone on her. So it's like a double thing there that is really problematic to write like that. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that was really stupid. She could die in so many minutes. She's gonna construct something out in the forest, also instead of using the zombie for sunlight melting. But it's good. Yeah, like, we're best friends now! Woo! Best friendship! Why does he? But he doesn't believe. I hate this thing too. That he kind of goes back to her. Wait, she's a mind reader, but he should know so obviously that she isn't a mind reader for him. It's just so clear. That it should be so clear, right? That he that, he, that she isn't a mind reader. It's hard to lie about being a mind reader too. It's like, and he has so many opportunities. It's like, he has even said several times that he isn't a mind reader. He's been. Why does he keep going back and forth of her being a mind reader? He used to think that she wasn't a mind reader, now he seems to kind of think that it's true. Like, why is that? Oh, sure, those guys with zero intelligence, the guys that have dumb as a rock people, like this thing, this, uh, this, like, I don't know, hard, this mentally deranged animal thing is gonna think you're. <laughs> yeah, this, this woman, she definitely thinks she has like a, yeah, her god is up, definitely. <laughs> Look at her, she's guarding herself from her. I know you killed that guy, but I'm guarding myself. I don't know why she's expecting to have a guard now. She's expecting to all be dumb as... How can he even breathe? I'm like, how did he even breathe this, guys? See? How, how does this girl even... How's she alive? How does she dress... How, how, does she, how does she dress her clothes up? How does she, like, manage to, you know, walk or something? Yeah, what a weird girl. She has some issues. Uh, but maybe Nana won't kill her because she's, like... She has some nice push or something. I mean, I was hoping that Nana actually would have some kind of, you know, nuance and be like, well, actually, she's a nice person. I'm going to help her, right? I'm going to befriend her for real. Maybe. That, I think, would be interesting if Nana actually is like... She's supposed to like, now she's like, they all have to die, right? Because right now she's like, they all have to die no matter what, right? But... Oh, wait, she's evil? What's this? Like, what? But this is a good twist, what? This girl? This girl? What? This is the weirdest twist ever. Why Why is she suddenly doing something? What? <laughs> I love it. This is the dumbest twist. This is like the dumbest twist ever because she's been so incredibly unintelligent. Was it all fake? Oh man, this might save the anime from being horrible to actually being awesome. What is happening? Is she actually a weird Nana is a murderer always? What? This twist doesn't make any sense, I feel, except she was lying. I guess she was lying all the time then. She wasn't the idiot. But, yeah, well, <laughs> it seems so... 
<laughs> oh my god, det här är visst. Det kan ha gissat en juka twist again då. And of course she has probably told Koya that she's no she disagree with him. Her voice is different than everything. <laughs> Why is she so... Haha, I spit in the thing! Maybe he's also assassin. She's like, I can't actually hit people, I've been lying too. <laughs> I was laughing at God, it's so silly! She's like, ah, I'm also pure evil! But this is like Yuka, Yuka 2.0, yeah, okay. She's also actually a murderer or something. Oh my god. Oh yeah, I've just been faking. I'm not a nice person. Nande bodai! Nande bodai, everyone! But like, what again? This is so stupid. This is really bad writing again. I'm sorry, guy. I love that she's actually evil, but it's so stupid. She clearly could use stab now and I'm going to read her. She could use kill her and no one would ever believe she was a guilty one. As she said, everyone loves me! She could use stab now and I'm on there. It's kind of, the, you know, it's both Yuka and Future Guy again. That Nana should have died there. Nana should have died there if this girl wasn't an idiot because she's been planning her, you know, playing her for the whole anime, but she still failed to kill her. That is such an. I think about it, this is really, really stupid. I'm sorry, everyone. I love. Uh, yeah, I was like, for the first minute, I liked it. Then when I think about it, that she actually failed killing her now. Yeah, but then she failed killing her. It just tells you how badly written this is. It's so stupid that this character will spend all this time. Tricking Nana that having a chance to actually just kill her straight up, uh, you know, just, just murder, just take care of her, right? Uh, and then being like, not doing it. You could, you could, you could pretend, it's, oh, it, Nana has maybe healing power or something, who knows, right? But she should just stab her anyway and then find out if she had the power, it would be way better. Uh, oh, it's so stupid, my god, it's just so stupid that she didn't just uh, kill her there. That's the problem, right? Nana is not like, Nana is very incompetent. Nana wasn't saved because she could see through her lies. Nana survived because that character is still an idiot. Yes, she pretended to be a good girl, but she's still stupid. She could have won there. She could have killed Nana, but she just did it. Because she was like, no, I'm just gonna, I don't know, expose her or something. He hasn't told Koya, of course. Oh, oh man. Now it turned out, that's the dumbest way to you set up your... She's been lying for weeks to Nana. And then, of course, you know, how did she utilize that? She did it at all. <sighs> wow. Man, this is like utterly stupid. Utterly pointless to have that. It's a bad set. Well, like best friend she's. <laughs> I'm still hearing it now. Yeah. But she can also, She has the photo. I don't know why she's acting... She has the damn photo, right? Inu Kai Shan. She has the damn photo of Nana killing the first guy. Killing, you know, the fake man character. Yeah, it's like, come on, man. She, she could utilize the photo, maybe. Or something. I don't know what's so, she, She's just so weird and she's also pretending to be a good girl. But she's not. Why shouldn't you talk to Koya about it or help him out something? And also the guys are dead now, so this prank thing makes less sense too. Yeah, and they should realize that too, because I mean... She killed the guy, Rus, so the guys were the one bullying her, so that also makes this less... This strategy makes less sense, the, the bullying note, it doesn't really... I mean, clearly she's the one who put the note her, but, but it's like... That makes less sense now, that she would be... Who would be bullying her, right? But man, her being evil or whatever... It is so stupid. Like it's it's, it's done. It's done. It is again. Premise wise, it's funny that the healer girl actually is intelligent and actually being like, "Haha, I got you." But then she didn't get her right. Like, it's like again, it's, the premise is funny, but its execution is horrible. Like, it's like why wouldn't she use stab her? Why why, why wouldn't she use utilize her advantage, telling Koya in secret? She could have colluded with Koya before this. She could have talked to Koya. Before she stabbed Nana, I was like, hey Koya, I agree with you, right? And then she could have stabbed Nana someone. It would be way better to tell him and show him the photo that she has, right? To try to team up against Nana or someone. It would be way better for her. Uh, there's many ways she could have done it better. And instead, she's of course not telling anyone. And also, just like the future guy, if she gets killed now, 
she probably hasn't made any, you know, notes of her being, you know, you know what I mean? For some reason, now she knows Nana is evil, but she's gonna tell anyone, and if she's dead, she won't have any kind of, you know, planned out, uh, you know, evidence against Nana killing her. She has to make a die, right, and that now if I die, it's Nana's fault, right? Because so far, there's been two characters that knew Nana was evil before they got killed by her, and they didn't tell anyone or left a note if they would be killed, this was Nana, right? If I was, you know, Yuka, or future guy, I would write, if Nana kills me, you know, if I die, it's Nana, right? Yeah, like, but is she gonna do anything? Probably not. Yeah, exactly, that was... Man, this is absurd. This is so evil. <laughs> you like me, Nana? Yeah, it's like... Yeah, she probably knows, right? Oh, of course, she's actually the guy in the opening. <laughs> but is she dead then? <laughs> I guess the dog. He might be the first. He's probably the first serial killer then. Okay, it, is, it makes more sense than he's just pretending to be her. I guess that makes more sense. Well, yeah, the case makes more sense. But why wouldn't he kill her though? Okay, she's just, he's pretending. Okay, that makes more sense, I guess. He was just pretending to be her. Okay, I'll take it back then. That makes more sense that he didn't stab her because he actually wasn't her. But still, though, why would he step Nana for? Maybe, maybe he has a, a, a good deal somehow. But okay, okay, that, that, that okay, I, I, I can say that. That this makes more sense now. If she was pretending to be good all along and not telling Koya would be really weird. Now he has some other agenda, so this is better. And this is so clearly be a weird that they are killing them and so on. Yeah, so why would he work with Nana? I guess he survived the previous... I wanna guess he survived the previous murder thing, right? The Nana's, you know, senpai basically, right? And he's now then trying to leave the island, probably. Like, you probably can't leave the island, so he's probably trying to get off the island, right? I think he wants to get off the island. I think, I think he's stuck on the island. I think that's it. Yeah, probably, and he can't. He probably can't leave. That. Yeah. Hmm. But I think he just can't leave the island, given that they kind of try to capture all the talent people, right? And he clearly got the money, money fruit, right? He can just transform. Wait, can he turn into a bird then? <laughs> can he just fly off the island like Mystique? Can he turn into a bird and fly off? Maybe that would be... Maybe it's too far to fly. It's a cat. <laughs> He's the cat! <laughs> Okay, he's the cat. Okay, that's good. Okay, I, I give it that. That's good. He's the cat. He's the he's been oh I beat the cat and the bird behind you. <laughs> I was the cute kitten. <laughs> okay. Okay, I like it. He's been playing the cat character. He's been playing the the pets in school. I wonder why he can't why he can't fly away from the island. Then. Why can't he leave for? It must be long to trip then. But uh, yeah, I guess still, like, I, I want to guess he can't get off the island for some reason, right? Like, he's stuck on the island, he needs a boat or an airplane, right? To get off the island, and he's stuck there. That's, that, that, makes, that would make sense to me, at least. But okay, fine then. I thought it was really stupid that she was, of course, not just stabbing her and so on. But this, this does make a lot more sense. This makes a lot more sense. That he actually is, um, you know, he needs Nana for some reason. He clearly could have killed Nana, right? Probably more than once then, as he has the power to transform. But, um, uh, yeah. But it would be kind of funny if, if, if she actually was evil and <laughs> lied to Nana. But then it would be stupid if she didn't kill her, right? I won't tell Koya. Wait, really? That's, that's kind of weird still, though. 
no, it sounds like someone killed them, right? Like, why would it be that organically? I think it makes more sense that someone would actually be a killer, like her senpai. Yeah, it sounds more like Nana's senpai, or, you know, which might be Nana's Onishan or clone or whatever. I don't care, but. I mean, it still sounds like someone could, you know, start killing them based on. But this is all. This makes the Yuka scene be stupid, though, because of course Yuka used necromancer powers and didn't use anyone's powers. This guy has psycho powers, so you, you know what I mean? Yeah, like this. The problem here is now he's explaining the zombie powers, and that Yuka couldn't defeat her with the zombie powers again. That was a plot hole, I think, right? Because why couldn't she just use some powers to win easier? Uh, but she didn't, right? But here we see that they have actual powers. Again, why couldn't you go in easier? So this, this does create... I think his story still seems like someone from the government probably started it, right? So it's a lot like a battle royale. <laughs> yeah, it's like on this island fighting. It's battle royale, man. Now they wanted to kill. Yeah, exactly. So they planned it out, right? Yeah, yeah. So they, I don't buy his story here that it just happened organically. I think that they, of course, initiated the war right between them and then they kept killing them. Like, like this time with Nana. Nana did to kill them all, probably the same thing last time, right? It makes very little sense that it would just happen. See, again, this makes the Yuka thing mean more and more stupid because of course, the Yuka thing, again, so the zombies have time power, you get my point, yeah. The more he explains how powerful the zombies were, her not beating Nana is less and less intelligent, right? He's uh, clearly the adaptable guy, he can just, uh, yeah, he can use hell as a, as, a, as a cat or something. So he survived by being a cat, right? Wait, he could go home? Could he actually fly home? Wait, but he's still an island for them! What? He actually could you fly home. Okay, what? Why would he go back? I guess it's plenty, but if he's like, why would he go back? Yeah, so he learns about the government, I guess. Yeah, it makes sense, right? Trying to capture him. But why would he go back to Ireland for? Maybe he really wants Nana to tell him who the government is. Maybe he wants, maybe he's back to, I guess. Get Nana to explain to him what the, who the government is, who's behind it, maybe? Yeah, exactly, government. So maybe he's, that's might be what he wants Nana for. Hmm. That's pretty cool, though. He wants to fight the government, I guess. If that's the case, but I guess so. Yeah, which of course is Nana's bosses. Hmm. But he could have still saved the kids then. He's still a pretty bad guy though. He's like, he could have saved the classmates of Nana. He knew he's just a murderer. He's like, I don't want to interfere. He's offering these children to his plan here. Yeah, like, I will let you kill more children first, okay. Well, perhaps, but... I don't know, he's just an adaptive guy, I don't know if he can anyone. <laughs> he's not business, okay, yeah. I'm just gonna do something random. But man, he's a pretty bad guy though, he actually could have stopped her a while back. He's been knowing he's a murderer for that at the beginning. <laughs> he didn't do shit. He's just been letting you murdering all the classmates because like, well, I mean, I have my reasoning and... and she probably poisoned his tea or something stupid now. Oh my god, if, if he dies immediately from... How did he she easily... If he just dies from this now, it'd be the dumbest thing ever. Really? Well, I hate it anyway. Like, did she kill him immediately? How did she so easily get poisoned by a tea? He knew he's a murderer. 
And then Cody acts in the ear. Half the Jubilee spit in there. But how did this guy die so easily? God, this is so stupid! Really? Hopefully he's alive! Well, he probably has illusion magic then. He probably lost poison. I mean, yeah, come on, please. You can't kill off this guy with, like, immediately. Hopefully this guy is alive because he's illusional powers. Yeah. So this guy is actually a mod lot better at playing mind games than she is. Okay. This is probably his power though, to some kind of imaginal. Yeah, he can cope with the powers too, so he can't die because he's immortal, right? Uh, he's like he's like Mimic in Marvel, oh, yeah. Uh, like Mimic 5. Yeah. But that was so stupid, he would read the poison! Ah, uh, thank god he could survive that! It was so stupid! He's the true enemy of humanity! Nana is effed up, yeah! Ha ha ha! The true hero arrives. Since he let all the people die though. But uh, that's good. But it was so stupid that. But this is why Nana is so incompetent too though. You, you have to say Nana is an Indian. Really, she's a really big Indian. Because she's like, you know what? I just met this guy, but I will immediately poison him. Right? You know, that, that a big issue with Nana. That she's so, uh, she's so incredibly impulsive. She's such an incompetent assassin. She's like, oh. New guy poisoning his tea! Yeah, like immediately, just like, oh, I met him immediately, go poison! It's like, come on, man, like, can, can she ever try to, you know, think stuff through, right? And that's why it's so, that's why the anime is so silly, too, because now is so incredibly impulsive, uh, like with this here, I've been thinking, but at the same time, she apparently planned out a zombie to melt in the sun to destroy the evidence. It's like, you, you know, it's like, but, 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 like, you know, I. She's both incredibly impulsive, but at the same time, she has this like super grand scheme she's been planning out for. If it's like you know day strike, but actually did it for a minute. So it's just kind of like a weird mix match, I feel, of, of personality behavior. Um, but certainly, uh, it's good he didn't die because that would be so ridiculous if he just died from tea, as she used, you know, as he knows she's the killer and, and he would drink the tea next to her. Yeah, which is so ridiculous. But he can of course then cope with her. Um, their powers as well as uh, turning into them really good power though. really good power but he needs all the people powers though i suppose though he's more stronger he's stronger the more people have powers though, right if he's back at you know normal civilization he's weaker than because then he used to be a human right they can turn into animals but now he can turn into other people with power so that definitely gives him a benefit of being at the island right it's a strong idea. But Allah, I was like, he's the true humanity's bad! <laughs> he's the true enemy of humanity! <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's good, that's good. Um, but I guess he's there to then, yeah, use Nana to figure out, you know, the government, the Cabal government, right? Um, he's still letting the, the people die, though. So he, yeah, his method is pretty harsh there. He's like, well, you can kill a few people. I, 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 you know, uh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, yeah, I know you killed that girl and that guy, and he's like, well, okay, so you know about that? His story then clearly has some holes, right? Not because he's lying, perhaps, but because he doesn't know the truth. I think it seems a lot more likely, of course, he was like organically started, yeah, like much more likely that, you know, that he actually, I'll say, that, that the war started because they had some assassins like Nana, right? That, that seems a lot more likely. He, caught, he caught, in the end, he kind of did directly say that he, they might have been the government, right? That he created the war, so that makes a lot more sense than just being by accident, right? As the government is left to die there, right? So, um, so, yeah, basically what Nana's doing, right? You know, sending a girl in the air, trying to kill them, and then they... And that makes sense, right? After Nana has killed more people, they would probably be... I mean, they're so stupid, but eventually they would be afraid and start fighting, sort of blaming, sort of so on, right? So that's kind of what Nana could use, utilize as well, right? To win and kill them all, right, in the end. But, um, but it's kind of like... Him being Dumbest Rock Girl uh, was good. That was that was good though. It really was good. I mean that she would otherwise be pretending to be a good girl and then of course not killing Nana. Yeah, I mean I just, I that that reveal was good. Because before that I was like, holy shit, what is happening, right? She's pretending to be a good girl. That's an interesting premise. And then it turns out that she didn't kill her anyway. It would be so stupid. So that he actually did kill Nana because of his reasons made sense right but he's still an idiot 
Because he could just not drink the tea and not reveal his powers to her, right? He's still showing his cards to her. So he's still an idiot. It's a problem with anime. God damn it, it's so stupid. That's so stupid anime. Though. But why would he reveal to her that he has Koya? I mean, I guess you could argue that he's like he wants her to be afraid of him so she will follow his command because he's so powerful. Uh, but also his power is, is a copy of the other guy's powers. So if she kills more people, he's gonna get weaker, right? So she knows that now, and he's not. He knows. Yeah. So it's like an unnecessary thing to showcase his powers to her. That's just stupid. Same with you know a future guy. He's like showing her the camera thing in the bed. So she knows how his power works. If, if he didn't do that, he would probably be alive. Probably would win, right? But he showed her actually that he was you know, taking the photos and how he got the photos from his powers. So he he straight up revealed to her his power, right? Which seems so stupid, right? But the goal is it's Nana, so everyone's everyone's stupid. Um, so let's talk about the first thing then. Let's talk about the, the camera, the phone thing, right? So, the phone thing. I mean, the, la the last part, he was good. That, 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 that he didn't die was good too, but... Yeah, like he shouldn't reveal his power stuff. But otherwise, his general agenda makes sense. He wants some kind of revenge. It was much better that he was the... That she wasn't actually, you know, faking her... Faking her goodness. And the, again, like I said, it, it explains why... I think the best part of her not being a fake character... So speak is that she actually didn't um, how to say it the best part of that is that otherwise she just kill Nana right yeah like because because it would be it would be so hard to motivate why dog girl wouldn't kill Nana if she was faking it if she knew Nana was evil and did it, and they faked through that why would she not just kill her it would be so hard to motivate her motivation without stabbing her but at least in his motivation he wants to use her against the government so yeah like it's so much easier to you know agree with his motivation that that would be the issue with her that she would pretend to be a good girl actually i could see it happen i mean probably not now then but that that i wouldn't see is that that that, 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 that would just be awesome that's that's an issue right that was the issue i had there in the middle of the reaction because i was like does she pretend to be a good girl that actually is pretty interesting that's just pretty funny but then she utilized that in the worst possible way right if that actually was the case of course it wasn't but that's what i mean because she would have utilized it in the absolutely dumbest possible way. So that's why it was good that that wasn't the case. That's why the second twist was... Uh, the second twist actually was... Yeah, actually actually legit, right? But anyway, talking about this thing. This thing was really stupid, though. This thing was straight up asinine, though. Um, so again, I say it here. I say, yeah, I mean it. The second... This, this, the twist here is actually legit. Yeah. It's the twist of him actually being the good girl and so on. That actually was really funny. And quite, uh, you know, uh, good. So that actually was good in anime. Probably the best part of anime so far, actually. That he was actually... The episode 1 and this episode. Yeah, in, in between this crap, right? So I think that... That's fair. So I think that twist with him actually being her and so on. And actually tried to use Nana. Uh, was good. And then he was survived the poison. Was good. But that was just kind of stupid of him. But, you know. Anyway. Uh, but this problem, though. This was just dumb, though. This was just stupid. Though. This was so stupid, though. This was just so stupid. And why I think Nana is... Again, incredibly incompetent, right? And it's actually, you, you, people say, oh, but this is really smart. No, it isn't! Like, it was so stupid. And this is why, you know, the Nana strategies are also so goddamn contrived sometimes. And it's just like, like for example, the, the necromancer with Yuka, she's like, oh, I did this thing with the door. But it's like, but why would Yuka, the problem with that thing is, is, is many, many folded. For example, why would Yuka even know that? Why would she even go to the door? It's like, you, you can it's like she's assuming her opponent to be an idiot, you know, with Yuka, absolutely. Uh, and also, again, I have to say it right, it was an issue here clearly that there's this guy, he's building up the powers of the order of the zombie. He's like the zombie had time powers, psychic powers, blah blah. He's, he's building up the zombie powers, and it was like such a massive plot hole that Yuka could have just defeat Nana having a zombie army with powers. You know, he's explaining the powers that the zombies has, right? And yet she couldn't defeat Nana. And of course, we can't know exactly what zombies she had, but it is, it is so logically illogical to believe that no one had a good power against a human, right? So it's just so stupid that Yuka lost again because she had like an army of powerful zombies and she didn't use the powers except one power. So that, that was really, really dumb, right? And him explaining the powers didn't help at all. It made it dumber. But anyway, Nana wins with this kind of, you know, absurd plot armor thing. First of all, of course, as I said before I watched the episode, I was sure that she wasn't going to have the full armor, right? And that's, I think, a massive issue with the episode 
which is episode last episode actually though episode um, the fourth episode is that why is Nana having I mean I said it a few times but I said it again right and I said it before I mean, the thing is that I said this and I rather was emphasis on this thing right before we actually watched the episode right that's how dumb this is how bad the writing is with that it's really stupid and that's how she has in her inner monologue that's like oh no I'm screwed and then ha I wasn't screwed you know that is stupid that's just horrible horrible writing it's, it's straight up horrible writing because what that of course means is that Nana isn't actually a character. Like, it's, 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 like, why would she do that? Yeah, like, we, we, we are watching her in the monologue. She knows she hasn't, doesn't have the phone on her. So it's just there for the viewer to have a twist. Right? It's there for the viewer to have a twist, right? Something like that. It's there for us to be, wow, she wasn't in trouble, right? But it has two issues that. From a, yeah, from a character standpoint, it makes absolutely no sense. It's really crap writing. And for the second point is that but Nama is never in trouble, man. Goddamn, Arthur. We, we know that Nama is never in trouble, so it's no twist. I, it wasn't a twist that Nana wasn't in telephone her. That's what you expect, right? So you like so like ruining the characterization of the character, whatever you want to call it, or the plot hole, whatever you call it. And then then for a most predictable twist ever, it's also really just kind of you know silly, right? It's just kind of stupid. So doesn't make any sense. But it really doesn't. Why would Nana have all this mental um, you know fear last episode? Because that's what she said, like, oh, I can't be, I have to pretend to be calm, and then she talks, you know, so it's just so stupid. Uh, but anyway, this strategy also, though, of course, it's, it's just so silly, I mean, it's just so contrived. Um, this is what I don't like with this anime, honestly, I think this is probably the weakest part of the anime, arguably the weakest part of the anime. Because, as I said, I'm not, like, being, I must have pity, because I was like, oh, why does she utilize the poison thing? But I just mean that she had, like, four or five opportunities. To go read the phone, right? Like for that, the, the window as well, and so on. She has several opportunities to read the phone. And this just feels like the most contrived way to do it, right? This, this is like the most, obs- you know, the most obscure way to do it. And that doesn't make Nana seem intelligent. That makes Nana, in my opinion, seems like an utter moron. It really does, because if you've ever heard, right, the simplest strategy is the best strategy, right? So to speak. So the thing is that the, the, the more complicated strategies you, you, you apply, the more the risk is, right? And if you have several strategies that could be utilized for the same result, or not the same, but in, in enough of a good result, right? So you would, be, you would escape uh, an alibi, so you could escape. You should probably take the other strategy that is safer, right? It's kind of like, let's compare it to the stock market. Or something like that. Okay, so in stock market, you can buy something that's very, very risk, right? Something like an EV stock currently. They're super up and down. Uh, like I made a lot of money last week on my EV stock fund. Well, which one here but uh, it went very well for me it's up 30 percent uh, for me but that EV stock then is a high risk high reward right? it, it can also go down 30 percent right so it's, it's a very highly speculative thing to do right of course i was right but whatever um so that thing is high risk high gain right that's kind of how the market is but if you buy something like let's say microsoft okay microsoft shares that's very low risk but also low gain right it's low risk it's, just, you know, it's safe. Microsoft, big company. Yeah, it's safe. You probably do stuff. You know, I'm not saying it's a bad buy. I'm saying you know, it's, it's safe. Right? So that's a good example of a very like a company that's very old. You know, it's, it's very sustained. Has very you know, obvious income. It's very safe, but also then low uh, gains. Right, it won't increase by twenty in one day. It might just go like two percent in one day. Right. So that's how you can do it. Right. Uh, the problem, though, with Nana's case is that, as I mentioned, them the stock market. Stock market, every company you can buy or sell is all right. They have different probability to go up and down, but also how much they go up and down. It's not binary. So a binary is something that's either one or zero, or two or false, right? So it's a binary state. You can either go left or go right, right? It's not. It's not different. Right? Uh, so when you talk about stock market, it has like you know, it can go in a million directions, right? And then it's a probability of it going very much up or very much down and so on. You know, that's kind of what you're speculating. That's your risk, right? Um, but it means there's a lot of different possibilities, right? There's many, many, many possibilities in the coming week, days, and probability and so on, right? Uh, but in Nana's case, to not be convicted, it is a binary state. You either are convicted of the phone having on you, or you not have the phone on you, right? So it's, it's a straight up binary state, uh, which means that the result more or less right it's the same thing it is just true that 
put the photo on him, you can believe him instead, which actually is a better strategy for her, right? So there's some other, that actually would be a, bit, a better play for her. So it's actually, there is some other states, I suppose. But the general idea for her is to not just have the phone on her, right? So that's, 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 that's a one state, that's a true state. The phone, it's not on her, that's a good state for her, right? The one state. Um, and of course I mean here, comparing it, comparing it to like the risk aversion of stock market is that in stock market then, right? Uh, if you take a bigger risk, you can make more money, right? Um, so it's, so it's, not, it's not binary at all because it's, it's much more versatile in bigger gains, right? Higher risk, higher reward, lower gains, so on, yeah. But in, but in a strategy of surviving this thing, of course, my point is that it's better, right, to take the low chance, not the stupid zombie melting sun strategy. It's much better to take a low strategy, right? Because it's a binary state. So you have many, many possibilities to get to the same result, which is then one or zero, right? Uh, so in her strategy, if I was the mass murderer here, a serial killer, I would take the strategy that is the most safe strategy, but still results me of being one, being the winner, right? Uh, because there is no difference for me being, you know, the, the matter, no matter the strategy I use, I have like 10 different, you know, things I could do, uh, but all of them leads to the same result, right? That for example is not how it is to buy a stock because that is very, very different, right? If I buy this thing up, it goes down, yeah, it can, it can go up a lot, go up a little. So that's very, very different, right? So there you have a million possibilities in a million different results. But here it's like you have uh, 10 different possibilities and one result, right? So what you should do then is just taking the least risk aversion strategy. You go for the safest strategy, right? To result to in the same one true statement, right? That you are, uh, you know, not guilty, right? You go for the, the one true, yeah. There's no point going for the high risk strategy to reach the same uh, result. Like it's just stupid. Um, she could have done it in different ways too, with like the, some building some applicants. Some, yeah. So that's kind of a massive issue with this anime. Right? It really is a massive issue because you sit here and you watch this anime, and this episode I think is the dumbest so far when it comes to her strategy. It's like this is the most contrived way to do it possibly. She could have done it in so many different ways, and I think some people claim, oh, but this is great because it's unpredictable. Well, yeah, it's unpredictable because it's stupid. It's unpredictable because she could die in a much better way. And she couldn't even know that the zombie was going to melt with the sun. How would she even know that? Like, why would they even do that? Are they vampires? Are they vampires? You know? Like, how would she even know that? Like, this doesn't even make any sense. That doesn't even make any sense because it's like her powers made the, 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 uh, the, the five year old bodies get alive, the rotten bodies. But how would she know that the rotten body's hands gonna fall on time and sunlight? It doesn't even make any goddamn sense. It's like she, she, she can't know that. She can't know that the timer wouldn't be like, you know, like I say, the message would be sent way too late to. The the thing is that there's no possible way she she can notice exactly when it's gonna send away. So it also might be sent away a way later, like after the murder, right? After she's dead, that would have screwed her up too. Like she can't know that this hand wouldn't send the message, like I say, five hours later, after she already murdered, you know, the, the, the second guy, and then it would be also be obviously like really weird for them, and that, that, that clearly the guy wouldn't have done it, right? So, um, like it's uh, this is the most contrived with the highest risk, with but still not a good outcome for her. I mean, the outcome isn't better than the other, you know, possible strategies, but has a, the least chance of succeeding. Because especially because if it's sent too late, she also loses. Uh, so it's absurdly high risk with the binary state of one as a, as a reward, right? So it's uh, it is utter contrived. Uh, and that's why I think this anime is so badly written, right? Excluded, because it's like, how can I make her sound... It really is edgy in a way. It's like, how can I make the main character be so intelligent? But it isn't intelligent. This is not how you would do it. Like... Obviously, I would be a way better serial killer than Anna. No, but I would dumb the strategy. It's a safe strategy, right? And I wouldn't poison the guy who's met either because it's so stupid. I just met him. I don't know his powers yet. I wouldn't just go for the stupid attack immediately. You know, she's so impulsive and so stupid. And this is just like, again then, I think stock market comparison is perfect. This is kind of like buying the most speculative stock in the market, but you can only gain 1% anyway. It's like, it's like buying... This is, it feels like if I would buy a stock... They can either go 1% plus or 100% down, right? So it's either it's bankruptcy or 1% plus, right? You can like Microsoft, that is like, it's either 1% up or down. Yeah, it's like a very, very safe stock. It's like a little up, a little down. Uh, or then speculative, usually it's like, you know, a lot up or a lot down. This is like very, very 
up or bound, right? This is, this is like the worst possible thing to do because it's like either you have an enormous failure or you still succeed. You can succeed in so many different ways. So this is really unintelligent, but the author writes it like this because to make Nana be so intelligent. Oh, look at her. She's so smart. No, this is really stupid. Well, but yeah, the, the, the review was really good. That was good. Yeah, the last thing, but this first part is just, again, why the anime is the most contrived bullshit ever. This is just always the most bullshit strategies for her using, and this is a strategy no one ever should use. Um, it's really stupid. I'm sorry, guys, but that's really, it's really, really stupid. Anyway, that's not a guy. The twist was perfect, though. That was awesome. And, and then, you know, it explained why she wouldn't stab him or someone. But, uh, yeah, her the phone thing was just... The hand could have been there three hours later, right? There's no way she could have known the, the time frame of the, 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 the bodies being affected by rigor mortis, sunlight, Yuka's power, Yuka's power being dead, Yuka being dead, and all this stuff. There's no way she could know that, uh, you know, size of body, weight, uh, gravity, all of these factors, uh, wind, imagine the animals, uh, you know, eating bodies, this, all of these factors. There's so many, incredibly many factors that she had no way of knowing that it's even good work to begin with. And it would be timed perfectly. So this is absurdly uh, contrived, right? Absurdly, absurdly contrived. And it's really stupid and incredibly incompetent way to get rid of the phone. It's, it's, it's not a smart way to do it. It's a dumbest way to do it. Uh, but anyway, see you guys tomorrow. Cool treat. Go and come with Little Demon Princess. It's been awesome. So, so again, yeah, have a great day. Come on. All right, there you go.